Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Are We There Yet? My name is Cheryl. Happy to have you stop by. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. We are back from camping. We had an uh, unbelievably good time for a couple weeks. We were just off the grid and just happy and and everything was quiet and peaceful. It was just, it was wonderful. I've got another camping video coming up that's a little more detailed, and I introduce you to Miss Ivy, who is our camper. So if you're interested in that, that will be coming up probably this afternoon. So be sure and take a look at that. And, you know, like I said, we just had a wonderful time. So thank you everyone who wished us a happy time, and I really appreciate it. It's good to be back. I have a few Timu hauls that I need to get together and get get out um, to share with you because things came while we were gone and you know I've just got I've got stuff everywhere. So without further ado, we'll get started. The prices will be on the screen right here as usual, and all of the links for the products will be down below for you to just click on and go. I have, the shirt I have on is not Timu, it's a Shine, I ordered it from Shine, but I do have these pretty Timu uh, jade earrings on, the leaf, and I do have my Timu ring on. I, this is a man's ring, but I just love it. It's And I like the fact that it's gold and silver, so I can wear it either way. And then I have some Timu nails on. These were supposed to be pumpkin and I ordered four sets of them because I love that color. It's not pumpkin. Do you, have you ever seen a pumpkin that color? No, but I like them all the same. They're, they're pretty. They're, they're just a pretty neutral, neutral color. Oh, what is that? Mascara. <laughs> so I always have mascara everywhere. Do you all get mascara everywhere? So I got a couple sweaters I want to show you to begin with. And these are fall sweaters. I've just about finished my shopping for fall sweaters and cardigans. I would just probably like a couple more long sleeve shirts and then I should be good because I run hot so I'm, I'm not. But uh, it's, it's almost sweater weather here. It is, I think it today is September 20th. So is that the first day of fall or is it tomorrow? Fall! <laughs> the leaves are already starting to turn here. But look at this sweater. Look at this sweater. I love these colors. I had this in my cart for a while and it kept going out of stock, you know, in my size and I, I just kept stalking it and stalking it and it finally came back. Uh, these colors are just beautiful and it's very soft. I think it's going to wash up really well. I, d I don't see why it wouldn't because the knit, you know, is tight and it looks good. I am a little concerned about right here. The V of the neck, see how that's kind of open there. But I may reinforce it. You know, I could reinforce that a little bit, I think, with some cream color thread. But yeah, it's really pretty. These colors are just beautiful. So there's that. And for those of you who ask what size these are, you know, I order my clothes from Timu based on my measurements. So they're different sizes. And I don't remember which sizes I order. A lot of them don't have the sizes on them. So just take your measurements and order them by your measurements. That's the best way to go. Sometimes, you know, I get a smaller one, sometimes a bigger one. It just depends on usually my bust measurement. So just keep that in mind. So if I tell you what size they are, it's not going to help you any. So, um, you know, you have to go by what your measurements are and this is one that I really love too it's got um, similar colors but this blue is, is a little different it's not as uh, as teal as turquoise but it is really pretty this is a heavy cardigan and I don't think it has buttons no it's just a just an open cardigan um, it also has a pretty tight weave and I'll probably wash these in laundry bags but when I do wash them because you know I, I'm a little concerned about some of the places on them but I think if I wash them in a laundry bag on gentle cycle they'll be fine so this one you know and it's good and long it is drawn at the bottom which you know I prefer that you know they don't have that that's a sleeve 
I, I prefer that they don't have that band on the bottom, but a lot of, you know, it's hard to find one that doesn't. The back is just a solid brown, and it is, uh, it's got a string here, but it is really pretty. And this one is very thick and just cuddly. It's soft and cuddly. So these will be linked below. And like I said, go by your, by your measurements if you're interested in, I'd say, purchasing any clothing from Timu. Just go by your measurements. And you can read the reviews because they'll tell you if they run small or large. But if you go by the measurements, you should, you should nail it every time I have. I've not had a bit of problem with it. So I got a couple pins and I used to wear pins all the time on on uh, my jackets because I I was in the medical field and I had lab coats on and I would wear pins on my lab coats all the time and I've kind of fell out of that because you know I don't go out every day but I wanted uh, some fall pins to to sport this year on my cardigans and my sweaters so the first one is this little squirrel now that was my nickname in high school because my name is Cheryl so they'd call me squirrel and I, and I embraced it I love squirrels you know and I and I kind of go through life like a squirrel what 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 was that what was that let me let me over here okay I'll go over here that's the way I live my life so <laughs> I haven't been, always been that way but here lately but isn't that pretty it's um what did they call it? Drip something, enamel drip or something. I don't know, but it's really cute. So that's kind of, you know, an homage to my nickname. Now this one has a little place on it and I wasn't going to send it back, but it's the same kind of design. It's got, uh, you know, that enamel coating on it, but this one's really cute. It's got a little ghost coming up out of a pumpkin, but see the little place here. I think it's on this, this side over here. It's over here. But you can see it. It's just a little scrape on the on the paint, which which is sad. But I'm not going to order it again. It's cute. This one is beautiful. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? It's got little sets running down to make the lines on the pumpkin. And these are all gold on the back, and they've got just a regular pin clasp. Really pretty. This one is a gift, but it's this really pretty fox. Now, they had him in all different colors, I, I do believe, if I recall correctly. But he's really pretty. There, there are several fox pins, but I wasn't too, you know, drawn to a lot of them. But I thought, I thought he was just fancy schmancy, pretty. And then I, the last one is this one, which I love. I love this. Look. It's a little coffee cup, like a cappuccino on a saucer with a spoon. Isn't that cute? And this is kind of swirled with some, you know, different color paint. See? You can see it looks like cream. Oh, this is so cute. I love, love, love this one. And it's small, you know. It's not, not too heavy. Really pretty. I won a farmland again, and y'all, let me tell you, you, you remember I got that dash cam? Well, I ordered that dash cam because um, it was part of my sponsored um, haul, and I ordered the, that dash cam because you never know if you're going to win farmland or fishland, right? So I put a dash cam in three of my games. Um, I mean, the first time, the first time I put it in farmland and it was taking me forever so I went ahead and put it in fish land and then another farmland because I have two accounts my, mine and my husband's and so you know I didn't know so I went ahead and got the dash cam because I didn't know if I do y'all know I want all three all, all no two of those dash cams so now I have three dash cams Christmas but they're not the same. They're, they're all three different, which is nice. But um, I asked my son, I said, I said, do you have any need for a dash cam? And he said, well, we talked about getting one. And I said, I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> He'll forget by Christmas. But yeah, that's, that's a nice gift, right? <laughs> but yeah. So, you know, and in farmland, I don't know if you know, 
in farmland, you can change one of your choices. You only get one time, one chance to change something. So you can change one of the two items that you pick any time during the game. Fishland, you can't do that, but you can change farmland if you, if you, you know, um, have buyer's remorse about what you picked. So I wish you could do it in Fishland because I've got something right now that I don't really want anymore, you know, but I'm, I'm gonna get it. It's this cow, and I didn't even choose it. This is from an earlier, earlier game, you know, that, that was, that's been going on for months, you know, one of those. And, um, I did not choose this item. This, it's a cow blanket. It's got Southwest with a big old, you know, cow with those long horns. Is it a long horn cow? You think? Bull, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, I didn't pick that. I don't know how it got on there. And it's fish land, so I can't change it anyway. But, just so you know, you can change. You can re-choose one thing. So, all that for I, one of my prizes. I got a dash cam. <laughs> and then I got, I chose this. Um, this is another thing I've had in my cart for forever with the ring and yeah, just the ring, I do believe. But this is Moissanite and it's um, it's one of those that you can choose the color. Isn't that pretty? It's This is the blue green, I think, or the green blue, I don't know how they described it, but it is so pretty. And see, I had the ring to match it in my cart too. And I'm glad I didn't order this set because I did end up winning it. So, but it is so pretty. The chain is so just delicate and dainty. It's just really pretty. Now I have to have the ring to go with it. But, and I'm gonna have to have a couple necklaces, extenders, but it came with the typical Moissanite paperwork. It came in a little red gift box. And I guess it's a polishing cloth, but you know, I can use this for my glasses. So I'm always happy to get these. So that, that was really, really pretty. And the last piece of jewelry, I told you guys when I got this cap that I had had a pair of earrings that would go perfectly with it because it's got the gold M on it and I lost them. Well, I reordered them, then I found them, of course. And when I reordered the second set, I hadn't found the first pair yet. So, and they were a little more wooden than I remembered. And the, like they weren't, they weren't as stained. The wood part wasn't as stained as I remembered, you know, to match this. So I thought, well, you know what? I can give these as gifts. I want another, I want to take a chance and get another pair. So I ordered three pair of these, y'all. <laughs> They're only a dollar and something, but still. But look how cute. Okay, there's the hat and there's the earring. So the earring has gold flecks in it. See? And then it's got the wood grain. And turns out the third pair had the light wood grain too. I was hoping it would look like this. Let me show you. See? Okay, you see how light that wood grain is? And then you can see how stained it is here. I, I was wanting the whole thing to look like that, but it, does, it doesn't on, on any of the three pair. But that flecked gold in there is just perfect to wear with this hat. I'm, I'm so excited. But yeah, it's just cute, cute, cute. So I have three pair of these, and now I can give two of them for gifts, and that's fine because they're cute. Anybody would love those. Okay, I have... This, I found this drawstring bag, and this is adorable. Timu Typical. I thought it would be bigger, but I, I didn't. I looked at the dimensions, I think, but I think I, my measurements were a little off. It's probably using a man's measurement or opposite, whatever. But this is a little drawstring bag, and it just cinches up, but it's cute, like for crafts or something, or just, you know, to if you're going to the market and you just need to throw some things in a, in a bag and go, I love the interior. I love that brown stripe. Really cute. And this is corduroy. It's, it's definitely corduroy, but it's adorable. It'll hold a journal, you know, or cute. I saw this and it was a little pricey, but you know what? I got it anyway, because this is a password journal 
and you know you can make one of yourself and put you know just password you know the same thing on every page but this reminded me of the address books that I used to have with the it was everything was filled out name address you know phone number whatever and you just went in and plugged it in so that's why I got this because I didn't feel like writing it over and over and over 15 times and it is alphabetized so I can go to if I want Amazon or I want eBay or I want you know the power company or the water company I can just go right to the page and on each page it's got website username and password and then email phone and then hint it's got a place to put your password hint. But if your password's written down, you shouldn't need a hint, right? But yeah, that, that it, this is really going to be handy. You know, also, you know, you always need to have all of your passwords in one place just in case something happens and somebody else needs to get into, into an account or into a website, you know, on your behalf. So they have these in different colors. So these, these are nice, and it's, it's good and sturdy. It's not too big. It's got a ribbon bookmark and an elastic closure and a pen loop. So I like that. I also got this leather pencil case. This is leather. It's, it's really nice. It's like, um, it looks a little distressed, which I love. It's got a leather zipper pull, and inside is just just leather. So I'm going to put some, I haven't decided if I'll put my, I might put my Archer and Olive pens in here because um, I don't have too many of those yet, but this, this is nice. Just something to grab if you just need a certain, you know, a certain kind of pen or pencil. This, I want to show you. Okay. When I was working in the office, um, years for years and years and years this went with me everywhere I went I got this on a very uh, a job when I was very a lot younger than what I am and it's this letter opener this thing is amazing I love this thing you just put this down into the envelope and just slid it right open it, it's just amazing I carried this thing with me from job to job just held on to it, held on to it for years and years. I love this thing. It's good for opening boxes and packages too because you don't, you know, you're not going to get hurt. You can just put it, put this right under the tape and just slit it right open. So I've got this one still for envelopes and I'm going to hang on to this one. But for boxes and for packages, I'm going to, I bought one of these. It was like 15 cents and they're even cheaper now. I've got price adjustments on it. So if you're looking for something that's safe, that's not going to, you know, hurt you, that you can open packages with, this is the ticket. This this will go into those plastic bags from Timu or, you know, um, Amazon. or Now, it's not going to cut those thick cardboard form fitting like scissors or something comes in. It's not going to cut that, but it'll cut bags and tape, you know. So this this is highly recommended because this old school thing has served me well and I, I cherish this thing. If I lost it, I'd just be so upset. I also found this little leather bound journal and I knew it was this small and that's why I wanted it because it's it's so precious. It's got a handle, you know, because you might need to carry that by the handle, you know, because that's heavy, you know. But the binding looks like this. It is um, bound with... Um, cording and inside what I love about it it's like a traveler's notebook it has one two three four five six seven eight inserts and they're craft paper and see each one of them is bound with that cording that's on the outside each each one of the inserts so it uh, it differs from a traveler's notebook because traveler's notebook has elastic that you can you know take them in and out but you can't with these. But this is just perfect to carry around in your purse if you want to just doodle or, you know, write write something down that you need to remember or, you know, just write a memory down as it's happening or, you know, anything like that. I think it's precious. It's just the right size for your purse. And this thing will last a long time depending on how you use it. It snaps closed. And uh, it's just, it's, uh, the inside is, you know, you can tell it's leather. Really nice really nice. So I'm tickled with that. 
Okay, some fun stuff. Well, I, I got some mascara. I got this, you know, everybody knows what this looks like, but it's 24 hour great lash. <laughs> it says great lash. So, where? We He Beauty. Great lash, 24 hours. So I thought I'd try that and see. I've, I've, I've liked <clears throat> Timu Mascara. Everything, you know, it's got that big fat brush. But um, I've, I've thought several different tubes, and all of them I like. They, you know, I mean, for my purposes. And then I found these. These are nail buffers. They're like emery boards, but they're they're fat. Let me get this. Let me get one out. They're small, and I think they look like little um, hors d'oeuvres or little, what, what are those little cakes called? You know what I'm talking about, but they're cute. But this is like an emery board, so you, you can buff your nail up, or you can even use it to file your nail. It's emery on both sides. So I just think that's cool because it's, you know, it, it gets you in there more more close, more closely than a long, you know, file. So I, I like these, and they were next to nothing for all these. I, I I got two packs of them, I believe. I think there's twenty in here. Let me look, so I can tell you. Twenty buffer, buffer black and black. Twenty buffer pink. It says black, but they're not black. And then the other side says pink. But that's that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this back scratcher. Is that not the... It's a cat, and its claws scratch your back. And it's telescoping. <laughs> they have all different colors of handles, and these are next to nothing, too. But that's too funny. That is too funny. I, I'm keeping that next to this on the couch because this thing is fabulous. I, I didn't hold out too much. You know, I think actually I got these free. What else did I get? And I got this free by using Reward777. Now, I told my friend about that code, and she tried it, and it didn't come up. So I don't know. Everybody doesn't seem to have it, but it's a it's a nice code that you can use. It takes you to another page on Timu, and then you can you get five percent back on your orders automatically, and then you get bonuses, you get free gifts, you get coupons, things like that. So try that. Reward 777 and see if it comes up for you. But it came up for me and I've been using it for, gosh, for months now. And I've gotten so many free things and so many coupons that I've used and su such cash back. Um, on one of my accounts, I've got like $50 so far just by using that 5% back. So yeah, it's, it's good. So try that and see if it works. But that's how I got this and those. And I'll show you a couple more free things. In Sorry about that. I see it's like a cat. Now it's my mascara on my face. Remember that time I had mascara on my face? But anyway, the, anyway whew, see. This is a head massager. You probably knew that. But these are little ball bearings that roll. So when you put this in your head, they have them with ones that are shorter inside these longer ones too. So there's more of these little fingers. But you roll this on your head and oh my gosh, it feels so good. I, I rolled it on my husband's head and he was like, oh, you know, like like a dog, you know, when you when you hit that spot, they gotta shake that leg, you know. <laughs> I thought he was gonna start shaking his leg. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is cute. And it's I mean it's nice. It's nice to have. So these two are gonna stay by my by my seat um on the couch so I can enjoy those when I when I feel like it. Okay. These are magnetic cats. This box is beat all to pieces. 
but magnetic cats, and these go on the refrigerator um, memo holders. So let me get these out of here. I've been anxious to get these out of that stupid box. But this is what they are. Look at that. There's two little neonadium magnets on them, and you put them on the, and when you put something under them, it looks like they're, you know, um, holding it or laying on it like a typical cat. <laughs> but you get a black one, and it looks like they're all the same pose. You get a gray one. Aren't they adorable, though? A light gray, and then a white one. <laughs> so I am tickled at these. These are cute. You know, cute, cute for us cat ladies. you got to have all the cat stuff. I've got so much cat stuff. Cute. My husband, you know, he tolerates the cats. He's not a cat. He's a dog person. But he, you know, now I have to say, you know, my Sophie's grown on him. And when we had uh, Thomas, my Tom that we lost uh, last October, I do believe, he was 18. And, uh, my husband, he, he just cried and cried after that cat. So he likes to say he's not a cat person, but he is. He, they, they, warm, they warm him up. They work on him. So I got this, speaking of, this is really cool. This is like a waterproof pad. And it's got this design in fabric on one side. And it's just cats and fish and and then on the other side, it says prints, and it, this is the the kind of waterproof material over here. It's it's soft, but it you can tell it's waterproof, and it's got little crowns on it. But our little terrier likes to lay on the foot of the bed, and she inevitably wears out a place on the mattress. You know, you can tell that's where she lays. So I got this to spread under the sheet so that it would keep protect the mattress. So that's what why I got this. But it's nice and it wasn't very expensive at all. And I can wash that. These I thought were really cute. These are little wooden birds to hang on the wall. And there's three different poses. They're very boho to me. And they're very thin. They're just little thin wood. And they've got the hangers on them in different places. So this one will go this way. This one hangs this way. Like it's, no, like it's going up. I might have to turn that one around. I'm not too happy with that. And then this one hangs like this. So they're really cute. You get all three of them. I bet they cut that right out of there. <laughs> You can tell that efficiently efficient use of wood, right? Look, I bet you anything that this these were all cut out of the same piece of wood, but they're cute. A little black contrast, you know, on the wall. And then I found these too. These um, are coasters. Look how pretty these are, and they're they're that rubbery, um, waterproof um, set of six. They're all the same. But there's different designs in these, different different colors, different um, designs. But they're really cool. I like these. And you know, if you order a coaster uh, cup thing for your car and it was too small, you could always cut one of these down, you know, um, and fit it in there better because they're just, you know, they're just rubber. serving spoons. Look at these. That's a lasagna spoon. This this ain't playing. This is lasagna spoon. Look at this. So you get two of them and I just, they're stainless steel. They're heavy. They're nice. 304 stainless. Um, yeah, it says stainless steel on them. I don't see a 304, but it's, it's probably what it is. But nice, heavy, good weight. Just dip that spaghetti, dip that lasagna right out of there nice spoons i've got i've redone my whole utensil and silverware with timu because you just can't beat the prices you can't go anywhere bed bath and beyond or anywhere and get you know the quality of stainless for the prices that timu has you just can't now i th this these were a joke 
Now, these, these made me fume. I was so mad. I was so excited to get these. These are just little, you know, they're little cups to drink out of. Just an, an odd little thing. These are supposed to be four ounces. That's not four ounces. In the picture I'll show you here, there are four lines right here. And there's only three on the ones I got. And so they're not as big. This this was definite false advertising here. This was not. But I did not ask for a refund because it does say they're three inches tall. I went by the picture. I'm doing that I'm more and more. I'm getting disappointed with Timu because they are they're doing exactly like Wish did. You know, they are showing you pictures of things that look a certain size based on somebody's hand. And that's what I went by on this. You can see clearly that that hand is in almost the same position my hand's in right now. And there is no way that's the same thing. So I went by the way it looked in her hand. You know, no, these, these are one ounce if they're that. I mean, you know, I was so irritated when I got these. Luckily, and how many times have you said this? Luckily, one of them had a chip out of it. It was, let me see, I can find it. I was ready to throw them in the trash. I really was. I was so frustrated because I gave like $5 a piece for these. And, I, you know, I thought right there. I don't know if you can see that see that little chip out of it right there. Thankfully, one of them had a chip out of it, and I was able to get a refund for one of them. And that made me feel a little, a little bit better. They're still cute shot glasses, you know, but they show them with coffee and everything. Come on. You know, that irritated me. And that's not the, that recently I've got several things that I've not been happy with. So, I'm learning that they're changing the way they're doing things, and you have to be careful now. You have to be very careful. A lot of times the reviews will show you pictures of these, uh, pictures of things next to somebody's hand or so that you can get a good, you know, look at what size they are. Please check out stuff like that before you order because, it, you know, they're getting bad about it. They really are. Now, this I thought it was absolutely adorable. If you know, you know. <laughs> That's what I say about these game things. But this is this is so cute. It's a Christmas tree topper. Can you stop it? Stop it. This is a Christmas tree topper. And all you do is put one of the lights up in there. That cracked me up. That is super, super, super cute. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Cute as, cute as it can be. Cute as it can be. I got a yellow toothpick holder for my yellow kitchen. And it's supposed to be automatic. I haven't tried it yet, but you load it up and then you push the button and it's supposed to dispense one toothpick at a time. We'll see. But it's cute. And I, I really don't know how to get it open. Yeah, I do. I just did. So we're going to sit, I don't know what's going on in there. Did I just break it? I don't know. But it's got some, I don't know what that is. But you just load it up and then it's supposed to dispense them. So we'll see. Okay. Let me see if I've got everything. Yep. Last but not least, this guy was in my cart and in my cart and he kept going out of stock and out of stock. And I never could find him in this color. And so I had his brother's, in, you know, the link in my cart. And I was waiting for him to come back. And he finally did. And I finally snagged him. Check him out. He's a shelf sitter. Look at him. They've got him in, I think, in gold. And maybe silver. I'm not sure. You'll have to look. But this is the white iridescent one. See how he changes colors? Oh my gosh, he's precious. I love him. They also give you this little sticky pad that is cut out in the shape of his bottom. You know, you can punch it out and then set it on here so that he'll stick. But now he's he's going to sit far back on the shelf, so I'm not worried about him falling out of the shelf on the hutch. But for Easter and spring, that is 
absolutely precious. I love him. His little ears. Look. Look at him. Isn't he precious? He is so cute. All right. So that's what I had to share with you today. I appreciate, like I said, you stopping by. If you wouldn't mind, give me a like if you saw something that you liked. And, um, you know, that really helps out my channel. And your views help my channel. And, and slothering through those ads helps my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will be back very soon with another haul. And um, be sure and watch out for the camping video. That will come out later. And until I see you again, happy shopping.